Hey, Bill. Gio here from Broken Arrow SEO, Division of Scene Enhanced Marketing. Hope you're having a great day, sir. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Like I mentioned in the post yesterday, I've got a lot of time on my hands this week uh, playing some catch-up, but also freeing up some time to help some local business owners with uh, just some information surrounding basic SEO services uh, that I've been finding since I've been in the industry that a lot of, a lot of company owners struggle to understand, to be honest, and they, they know that Things are trending in the direction of, uh, you know, having a digital online presence for their business, but just not necessarily knowing where to start uh, or, you know, how to allocate their time and money uh, towards that type of marketing. So hopefully some of the information I share with you today can help you in that regard, Billy. So we'll jump right into it. Three things we're going to talk about today are uh, content, backlinking, and citations. So now content is anywhere, uh, any words on your website uh, that Google can read. So I've got your website pulled up here and not a lot going on on your homepage, right? I actually really like the imagery of the tree here uh, and then the linkage to uh, you know other areas of your website obviously. Uh, samples, consignment opportunities and obviously a contact page. Key elements to your website but we recommend for our clients to have anywhere from 1500 to 2000 words on their homepage alone. Now, why so many, you may ask? Because we like to fill those with relevant keywords that people are actually searching. And so when Google crawls these websites or, or your website, they're going to find those relevant keyword phrases. And over time, your website's going to start ranking for those keyword searches. So next thing I want to talk to you about is backlinking. A third-party tool we use, Billy, to measure analytics and traffic to websites is called Arifs. So I've got yours pulled up here. Not a lot going on, as you can see. Uh, you are registering for a couple basic keyword searches I looked earlier. Yeah, wire trees for sale, Saskatoon. You know, in the 50-second position. So, you know, sixth page of Google, ultimately. So, point being, not, not a lot of people, if any, are visiting your website looking for your products, unless you tell them to go there. And, and how I know that is just based on this organic traffic. A zero means typically there's minimal to no traffic visiting your website on any given month. Now, one of your main competitors I got pulled up here, twistedwire.ca. Now, I understand they do a lot of other stuff aside from just custom wire tree fabrications. But just to give you an idea here, they're obviously doing or paying someone to do SEO for them. And they're starting to rank for some specific keyword phrases. So Twisted Wire, they're in first, that's obviously uh, their business name. But uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll get into some of their products. You know, Welcome Signs, obviously, Horseshoe Art, Metal Art, right? So they're ranking and starting to rank for all these different kinds of keywords for the specific custom wire work that they do do. Now, what we recommend to our clients for a backlinking standpoint is we tell them to go out and get the same type of backlinks their competitor is. Now, keep in mind, not all backlinks are created equal. So you're going to want to stick to, you know, backlinks or websites that are relevant to your industry. So, you know, wire fabrication companies or local custom art companies. Again, things relevant to your industry. So we'll see if there's any relevant ones in their referring domains. So it looks like Hat Doctor is their biggest influencer right now and PrairieMeadows.ca. If you see these do follow numbers here, this means that they are getting power and influence from these backlinks. We'll just check out Hat Doctor quick and see what it is. So it, it looks like a hat company of sorts, but it looks like some custom work going on there. So it is relevant to your industry with the custom art you do. So how the backlinking works in this instance is Twisted Wire has embedded their website address somewhere within Hat Doctor's website. And what's happening is Hat Doctor is shooting power and influence back to twistedwire.ca. And it's allowing them to rank uh, better organically on Google. And if you look for this basic key, I put custom wire tree art Saskatoon. It's essentially what you do, right? Just to see what would pop up. And you've got some Etsy stuff at the top, but boom, look at that. They're third, third down, first page of Google, right? And, uh, you know, you've got some other local metal shapes here. Also another local company uh, specializing in boutique design art. 
with wire and metal. So these are some of your top competitors that are, you know, obviously ranking much more ahead of you for these keyword phrases. So the last thing I wanted to talk to you about, Billy, is citations. Now, for your niche or your industry specific, a local map pack ranking is not coming up. I tried a couple different ones, but I'll just show you an example here. We'll do one together. So let's just say, um, let's just say, uh, art stores, Saskatoon. Okay, you're gonna get this uh, Google My Business or local map pack rankings. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this is an area that you could tackle and the ranking for these top three is based on citations versus backlinking for organic results, right? All this stuff down here, these are organically generated search results that come from backlinking. The difference with citations is it's gonna put you into the local Google My Business or Map Pack rankings. What are citations you ask? They're just basically directories online where you can list your company name, address and phone number. So Facebook, Yelp, White Pages, Yellow Pages, these are examples of directories. And so, again, what we recommend to our clients is to go in and use the same citations as your competitor, but also go get dozens and dozens more. So over time, you're going to sur surpass them in these map pack rankings. And by the time they realize it, you'll already be in the number one spot and they won't be able to catch up to you. And you'll just keep on taking on more and more new business from online customers who are searching for your products through Google. So I hope that makes sense, Billy. Uh, again, three things we went over today were content. We uh, discussed how you would definitely need uh, tons of additional content here on your homepage and throughout your website. We then got into some backlinking discussion. I showed you your main competitor and how they are generating a significant amount of traffic through their online presence compared to you and we kind of showed the methods uh, that we use uh, to help our clients do that and then most recently we discussed citations surrounding the google my business or local map pack rankings and how citations are specific to helping you rank in these top three so again that's all we have today billy just want to take the time to thank you for watching this video if you would like some more information, you can definitely check out our website. First off, if you want to do this on your own, 100% understand this is free information. Like I said earlier, I can even send you over a screenshot of your Arif's account here. <coughs> Excuse me, just to uh, just to show you your traffic, which is minimal, as you know. But I'd be more than happy to do that if you like. But if you would like some more information, you can definitely check out our website, www.brokenarrowseo.com. Our phone number is 918-265-1410. If you're on your mobile, you can just hover over that and uh, click on it. It'll come directly to our phone lines. Someone will be more than happy to help you out. You also have my information on Facebook and Messenger. And uh, yeah, so I do hope to hear back, Billy. Again, thank you so much for taking the time today. I hope you have a great day. Thanks.